Welcome to the Full Spectrum Laser LLC Retina Raster demonstration. So Retina Raster works with our USB processor, Retina Engrave. Retina Engrave has a 400 megahertz processor that allows you to output um, images to your full spectrum laser, laser device. So this is the interface. Uh, it's very simple to use. There's a jog panel to move around the laser head. There's also the special feature unlock. So unlock will allow you to release the motor lock and this allows you to push the laser head to the starting position that you want rather than using the uh, motorized jogging. So the uh, program loads up with this Aztec calendar and this um, logo at the bottom and it says the dimensions um, at the bottom also. So all you need to do is hit engrave and it'll engrave the device. Uh, if you use the speed, you can adjust it up and down. Uh, more speed will give you a faster output, um, but there's less power applied to each spot. So you want to experiment with that uh, depending on what you're engraving. Uh, of course, you can also adjust the power on the front panel of your laser. So there's a number of ways you can um, open files using file open and we can import um, any type of image, JPEGs, PNG, uh, GIFs, um, and TIFFs of course. But the unique feature is that Full Spectrum Laser LLC has direct print driver technology. So here's a picture in Microsoft Paint and I'm going to do file print and I want to print to this Microsoft XPS document writer. So the Microsoft XPS document writer just takes printing and prints it to a file. Uh, this is built into all versions of Windows 7 and Windows Vista. If you're running Windows XP, you'll need to download the free Microsoft XPS document writer upgrade. Uh, and this link will be available on fullspectrumengineering.com. Uh, Full Spectrum Engineering and Full Spectrum Laser will produce our own print driver, but um, each version of Windows requires a different version, so we're working on that to get the installer working. But uh, for now, you can use the XPS Document Writer, and it does basically the same thing. The only thing is that when you write to it, it asks you uh, for a file name, and you need to save it to C output, and uh, we'll type in test. So as soon as you uh, save it, that allows you to bring into the program. So you don't need to actually open it. Um, it automatically imports it. So adjust the threshold, and this will allow you to bring in or out details. So everywhere it's black, the laser will fire. Anywhere it's white, the laser won't fire. Uh, we can also invert it for different effects. So all you need to do is hit engrave and the laser will engrave this picture. So it's very easy to use and um, also it's very fast. Uh, another feature is that this image is 8.5 by 11. So if we trim the white space, this gets rid of all the excess uh, area around the image and makes it smaller. And uh, this is 7.5 by 9.5. But if we had a small image that's one inch that's printed on a page, by hitting trim space, then we only output that one inch by one inch image instead of having it to uh, raster back and forth a full eight and a half by 11 page. So that's all for Retina Raster. Uh, please visit our website at fullspectrumengineering.com and also see our video on Retina Raster. Uh, also see our video on Retina Vector, I mean. And you can visit our forums and uh, ask questions there. And um, this really makes the laser device uh, accessible. The output is uh, superior to the original software. It does 1,000 by 1,000 DPI, so 1,000 by 1,000 dots per uh, square inch. Uh, that's better than the human eye can see, and that's why we call it Retina Raster. Uh, thank you again.